What is up, awesome tubers? It's your boy, David Awesome, back again for another video. You can't see him right now, but uh, Andy Cool is sitting here beside me. Yo, what's up? What's going on? And, uh, but anyways, today we're going to be talking about 10 unusual deep sea creatures. And I'm getting this information off of mosttoday.com. And of course, this is also my first time reading through this, so let's learn together. So let's go here. Uh, 10 unusual deep sea creatures. Let's get right down to it. With the help of new and developing technology, scientists every year explore new regions and find new creatures under the sea. There are many unknown and unseen sea creatures in the deep sea, most, most of which are not yet explored. Another world can be found in deep seas, which have countless plants and sea creatures. Most of the newly discovered deep sea creatures look horrible, creepy, and weird, kind of like Jason Funny. Ha! Uh, that, that's a weird looking fish. What do you think about that fish right there? Ain't cool? Oh, wow, that's... I don't know. It, it looks like it has a monocle on its eye. Like one of those rich people. Yeah. Yeah, it's the finer things. The finer things. Yeah, yeah, a yeah, rich a, fish. A rich fish. A rich class. All right, and at number 10, because we're going to count down from 10, at number 10 is the ocean sunfish, the mola mola, or as Andrew and I call it, the rich fish. The rich fish, yes, rich. Rich, rich. The ocean sunfish, otherwise known as the mola mola, can be found in all oceans with tropical and temperature climate. Mola mola are fond of eating algae, small fishes, and gelatinous life forms. This kind of fish is known as the largest bony fish worldwide, and it's also very rich. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> at number nine, we have a giant isopod. Uh, this kind of looks like a big old uh, lobster thing. It's kind of really weird looking. What do you think that looks like? Huh. Kind of like a lobster. Yeah, it's like a lobster. But it's a giant isopod. It's included in the nine members of the genius... Uh, Bathominus, the isopod family, is considered the largest known member. This creature is scientifically known as Bath Bathonomus gyanitis. Without a doubt, for sure, this is one of the strangest deep sea creatures. Mm. It is pretty strange looking. At number eight, we have the Mega Mouse Shark. Look, it's got a big mouth like Jason Bunny. Oh. Big old mouth. Uh, literally, as per its name, the Mega Mouse Shark has a huge mouth with a bulbous head and protruding jaw. A dark triangle mark can be found at the base of the throat and white marks on the tip of the fins and mouth. It weighs on average about 750 kg to six. In other words, it is 1,650 pounds and has an average length of 4.5 15 in it. In other words, it's 15 foot long, so that's pretty long. I mean, that's a long, that's a long fish. However, some female Mega Mouse sharks have been measured at 5 millimeters, 16.6 feet long. Wanna go swimming with one? Uh, I don't know, man. Maybe put some hot dogs around you, around your neck like a necklace. <laughs> and number seven, we have the fang tooth. Kind of looks like dark. Uh, kind of looks like Sidious off Star Wars. Yeah. Emperor, the Emperor. Do it. Do it. The fang tooth, otherwise as Andy and I call it, the Sidious fish, <laughs> is considered one of the most dangerous creatures that can be found in the deep waters of oceans worldwide. Scientifically, this creature is known as Anioplas gaster cor cornuta. The name itself was grab from its features is considered having the largest teeth underwater when taken in proportion to its body size since fang tooth has the uncommon ridiculous appearance this fish was also called as orc fish so it's whole it's so weird looking that it's also known as the orc fish but this here is a fang tooth and you would not want to go swimming with this this is something you would see in your nightmares if you went swimming and before we get to number six, awesome tubers, if you've been enjoying this video, please uh, let your friends know. And if you're not subscribed to the channel and you're new to the channel, you somehow just came across this video because you like, you like, you know, the ocean and fish and all that like me. Uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit the bell button because I update and I put new videos on here all the time. I'm always uploading new videos. So if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. Know that I greatly appreciate it. 
and to everybody that is still subscribed, thank you. And with that being said, let's get to number six, the viper fish. One of the fierce predators that can be found in the deep sea is the viper fish. It has fangs that curve back to the fish eyes and it does not fit inside its mouth. To attack its victim, this creature uses its sharp teeth by swimming and colliding with its prey at high speed. A long dorsal spine that is tipped with photofro light producing organ is one of its other interesting features. Number five, we have Grenaders. That's how that sounds like it's pronounced to me. Grenaders. Since this creature, or it looks like a strange creature, but it's a fish. <laughs> Since this fish has increased levels of smelly chemical compound. TMAO, its features become moist and strange looking when out of the water. For them to find live prey and carcasses to eat, they swim slowly over the seabed using their long faces to search for food. Wow, that is like a prehistoric looking fish right there. At number four, we have glass squid. And that's really pretty. I like that. It's a beautiful squid. In the mid depth of the ocean, the glass squid can be found. The combination of sunlit water and their complete transparency make the species amazingly camouflaged. The creature has its eye in a bioluminescent light organ on its bottom to help camouflage and see. So it actually has a light built in its body so it can see through through the deep waters. And number three, for you football fans, we have a football fish. Although it doesn't really look like a football, so let's see why they call it a football fish. The football fish is part of the deep sea angler fish family, Hymentolophiandi. Their species is characterized by their strange appearance and extreme differences between male and female. The females can grow to over two feet in length, while the males grow to be about an inch and a half. So in other words, if you are a football fish, do not piss your mate off, mate. And at number two, we have Pacific Black Dragon. Wow, that's awesome looking. I have never seen a fish like that. Wow, looks like a snake almost. Kind of like a snake-dragon hybrid thing, but it is called a Pacific Black Dragon. The male black dragon is brown in color and has three inches in length, which has no teeth without without chin, barbell, and stomach. Since male black dragon can't eat, they live only to bait. Oh, wow. So, that's their whole sole purpose, is to bait. Uh, on the other hand, female is two feet long and have a chin whisker, which is long and fang-like teeth to hunt prey. The female black dragon uses her bright lure to get the prey within range, then strikes with her mouth full of long teeth. So in other words, do not piss off the black dragon. And at number one, we have pelican eel. The pelican eel can expand up to 80 centimeters in length, and has translucent organ in its intel, and has a prolonged body. One well, of the strangest creatures we have discovered in the deepest part of our ocean, I can only imagine what mysterious new beings lives down there while waiting to be discovered. So awesome tubers, let me know which deep sea creature you thought was the strangest and in the comments. And if you're new to the channel, like I said, please subscribe and I would greatly appreciate it. Join the awesome tuber army today. We are almost at 50.